Now, uh, also, I wanted to bring your attention to uh, the Smart Wallet, which is a new wallet from Coinbase. Um, someone in the Boomer uh, Telegram chat brought it up to me yesterday, asked me if I'd heard about it. Uh, I had not. I looked it up. Uh, and uh, he uh, talks about it in uh, this uh, Base Builders Friday, this May 3rd live stream. He talks about the Coinbase wallet. He's very excited about it. It's uh, a very easy to use wallet. It's easy to set up. There's no password. There's no seed phrase. And of course, immediately, Crypto Dad gets suspicious. What's the deal with this? Um, how is that better? <laughs> right? Well, it's definitely easier. Right. So uh, you download this wallet, you connect it to the blockchain and then you verify it with uh, your face ID or your fingerprint or your device, something like that. It uses pass key technology. Now, I'm not a huge fan of pass key technology. I'm a little old fashioned. I like to have my password and know you know, where it is and when I want to use it, right? I have a password manager. That's all well and good. You know, I need that. But this whole idea of, oh, uh, what's the device? Well, it's your phone. Okay. Uh, what about on desktop? Well, it's your computer. It, like, integrates with your Windows Hello. I'm like, okay, what if my computer blows up? What if I lose my phone? Uh, you know, uh, I'm suspicious of all this, but they do make it easier. And I've had a lot of people that have, uh, I've talked to them and they've said uh, they were on Coinbase and they say, you know what, Coinbase isn't asking me for my Google Authenticator anymore. Coinbase isn't asking me for my password anymore. Because Coinbase, the exchange, Coinbase, right? Uh, Coinbase, the exchange, is onboarding people to this passkey technology. And they, they're kind of sly about it. You'll get a little pop-up that says, do you wish to enable uh, passkeys? And the default is yes. And you know what you really should do is say, no, I want to keep using my password and my Google Authenticator. But they see that blue button, and they click it. And the next thing they know, uh, they've been onboarded to passkeys. Um, so I'm a little leery of the technology because um, it's, it just doesn't sit right with me. But it is easier. So, uh, but in my suspicion, you know, I go down and I, I go down, okay, so what's the deal here? Uh, what is a pass key? Okay, they say that. Uh, what if I lose my pass key? Uh-huh. Your pass key and recovery wallet, if you set one up, what, what? recovery wallet? Um, is the passkey a single point of failure? Let's back up a little bit. Uh, even though the passkeys are great for ease of use, it's still possible to lose a hardware key or accidentally delete a software key. The safest approach is to always have a backup method to access your funds just in case. Users who want an additional backup can generate a plain text backup key and store it in a password manager or even on physical paper. This backup key is a standard EOA account, which is added as a signer for the wallet. Users can generate and regenerate as many backups as they want. Well, uh, are the boomers actually going to do that? Or are they just going to like let Coinbase hit the, tell them to hit the blue button, and now they've got pass key? Um, so... That's why I don't trust it. And okay, if I lose my pass key and I can use my backup, okay, we're backing stuff up again, right? Wouldn't it make sense to just do a regular wallet and write down your backup seed, store it in a safe place, like, you know, a real crypto user? Mm, no, they want to make it easy. Uh, they want to hold your hand, um, you know, just click a button and your wallet's set up and, you know, off you go. And then, uh, you know, you have a house fire and your computer gets destroyed and you've lost all your crypto, right? Because you didn't have a backup because you didn't know about backups because you didn't, like, check, you know, all the fine print. Anyhow, uh, I will, when this thing is available, I will, um, of course, do a, a, sem a, a demo setup. We'll check it out, and I will stress the whole backup thing. 
Uh, but it's cool. I mean, once you get this wallet set up, you can easily access uh, blockchains, uh, multiple blockchains, not just the base network. You can hook it up to your Coinbase account so that if you're trying to do something in the wallet and it needs gas, it can automatically pull the Ethereum from your Coinbase balance. And that's really cool uh, because a lot of people, they get stuck, you know, like, oh, there's no Ethereum in the wallet. What do I do um, for gas? So they have to go buy some Ethereum put it in the wallet or they they ask me what do I do I don't know what to do right so this does solve a lot of problems I get it but uh, still a uh, good crypto self custody is personal responsibility so we're kind of moving uh, away from the personal responsibility into the hand holding um, you know easy peasy kind of stuff but I get it people need that right so uh, pros and cons on all of this